Merry Christmas. We are thrilled you are spending part of this special time with us at Concordia. There are so many fun things happening at Concordia this time of year, and you can stay up to date on all of them by checking out our website or connecting with us on social media. If you are visiting with us for the first time today, we have a few things we want you to know. Our service will be about an hour long, and we would love the chance to meet you after worship at the Welcome Kiosk in the lobby. We'll have a special gift for you as a reminder of your time with us today. Restrooms are located in the lobby. The women's room will be to your left and the men's room to your right. We love having kids join us in worship, but if you need to step out of the service with your young child, feel free to check out the family room in the lobby where they can play, nursing mothers can feed, and a family restroom is available for use. The free Concordia app has our worship guide for today, along with sermon notes in case you want to follow along. You can download our app from your favorite app store. One more thing, if you want to find out more about Concordia, like how to get involved or where to volunteer, or to submit a prayer request, you can use the Connect button on our website, or you can text CROSS to 51555 to get the Connect card right on your phone. We look forward to worshiping with you today. May God bless you this Christmas season, and remember, you are always welcome here at Concordia. Go. Keep that up. Keep that noise up. I love it. <laughs> Good afternoon, Concordia family. Welcome to the Christmas Eve children's service. We're going to begin with a couple songs, and right from the beginning, we're going to ask all you kids to join us and sing along. We're going to sing Go Tell It on the Mountain, and each time that Ethan sings Go, I want all you kids to sing along with me and scream out Go! Are we ready? All right, let's try it out. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go, go! tell it on the mountain, <laughs> there that you go. Jesus Christ is born. One more time. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. in a lowly manger the humble Christ was born and bought with the salvation that blessed Christmas morn go go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go, go! tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born Shepherds feared and trembled when the above of the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. All right, go, 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 tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go, go, tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Jesus Christ is born. Good job. Give yeah. yourselves a hand. Great job. Right. Feel free and long to sing along with us as we sing. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sin is reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. Hail the 
heaven-born Prince of Peace Hail the Son of Righteousness Light and light to all He brings Risen with healing in His wings Mild He lays His glory by Born that men no more may die Born to raise the sons of earth Born to give them second birth Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn Linus, I shouldn't have picked this little tree. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Merry Christmas. My name is Pastor Ethan Lumen. It's such a joy to get to celebrate with you today. Christmas is about a lot of things, right? Who's excited for time with family? Let's see some hands. Who's excited for time with family? Who's excited for Christmas cookies? Yeah. Who's excited for some presents maybe? Yeah. There's a lot of things that go along with Christmas. Coming to church, it all centers in Jesus. And that's why we're here tonight. That's why we gather with family. That's why we give gifts to remember the gift that God has given to us in Jesus. At this time, I'd like to invite our ushers forward to receive the offering. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support of our mission and ministry here at Concordia Lutheran Church. Uh, what we're doing together is impacting families and children in our community here in San Antonio, in our state, in our country, and around the world. So thank you for being part uh, of that. You can uh, find ways to give on in, in person, but also we'd encourage you to go to our app. Uh, go search Concordia San Antonio on your favorite platform, uh, wherever you get apps, and you're going to find there a whole, host, a whole host of resources. You're going to find songs to sing. Who, who likes singing songs out there? You're going to find music. You're going to find Bible studies. You're going to find services. Go download our app. Otherwise, go to our website, concordia.cc, and you'll find a lot of resources there as well. We're so thankful uh, to celebrate Christmas with you guys today, uh, and thank you for being part of our family here at Concordia. Uh, Merry Christmas. An angel came to see Ma Mary. She was doing laundry, and then the angel just appeared and she was really scared. So Gabriel was like, Mary, you're gonna have, what? I can't, I can't say good. Mary, you're gonna have a baby. I, you're gonna have a baby and you will call him Jesus. And then Mary was like, I'm not gonna have a baby yet. I'm only a teenager and I'm not married. Then the angel Gabriel told Joseph that Mary is not lying. She, you are having a new baby. And so they met up 
they went to Bethlehem, which was Joseph's old town. They ride a donkey. <laughs> I don't know. A camel. Oh yeah, a camel. She said, this donkey's fast. Well, they tried to go to a hotel and they asked the keeper um, for a place to stay. The keeper said, we have no rooms. Literally, no rooms. <laughs> so Mary and Joseph walked away sadly, but then he said, the only place in here in Bethlehem and that, that you can stay, stay is a staple. And then he just pointed the way and they followed. When the shepherds were taking care of the sheep, then they saw angels. The angels said, a new baby is getting born, who is king of the Jews. The angel were singing. Glorious. And then the shepherd said, I think we should go there and meet him. The second, I think, said, yeah, I agree with you. And the other said, yeah, me too. They had to walk through a bunch of grass and bushes, maybe have to camp out a night. And then the wise men heard about it. And then a star appeared. We should probably follow that star. It's pointing down to the barn. So maybe we should follow it. Maybe. So the wise men went to Jesus. They gave them gifts. A stuffed animal, like a hippo one, to have at home. Some diapers, and some wipes, and some milk, <laughs> some shoes, some Jordans. Gold ring and Latimer. And I don't know how I would survive in that barn. Thank you for coming. He's adorable. He's going to be our best friend. I love you, and you're the best baby i ever seen. There, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> the new baby is going to change the world. And that baby did change the world, and he changes our lives. Now, Christmas is a happy time, isn't it? Let's, let's see some big smiles, right? But Christmas can also be a sad time too, right? Let's see some not so happy faces. Christmas, you might be missing somebody today. You might not get to be with your family or you, whatever is going on. Uh, we take it all to God because we know that all the hopes and all the fears of all the years are met in the tonight, right? So we're going we're gonna to take some time to pray. Prayer is such a gift. Prayer means we can take whatever's on our hearts. All the good things, give some thumbs up. All the bad things, give some thumbs down. And everything in between, we get to go to God. And why do we get to go to God in prayer? God's like, how, far, how high up is God? Can you touch God? Raise your hands. Can you reach up to God? No, we can't reach up high enough to God, can we? That's why God reached down with his baby Jesus, right? With his son, Jesus Christ, God reached down into our lives. And we know that God hears us because God came to the world to be with us, right? So we're going to take some time and we're going to pray. And we're going to take all of our good things, all of our bad things. We're going to take everything to Jesus in prayer. So I'm going to say some words and then you're going to say some words and uh, just repeat right after me. Uh, and we're going to pray together to Jesus. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, you love us. You came down to be with us. You left heaven to be born in a barn. You'll go anywhere for us. We love you. We thank you for all the good things, for our family, for our friends, for our church. And we bring to you all the hard things, all the sadness, all the pain, all the missing people. Lord, we know you are in it all. And we celebrate you today. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen.
Won't you stand with us as we sing Joy to the World? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and And makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Merry Christmas. How is everybody tonight? This is such an exciting day. And you know, our tradition is that all of the kids come on up here with me and we read a Christmas story from this book called Silent Night, Holy Night. It's a brand new book this year. Kids, you want to do that? Are you sure you want to do that? Come on up here. Okay, everybody kind of slide forward a little bit. We've got to make room for as many people as we can. So slide on up here. Yeah, and you guys slide up here a little closer. Come on up. Slide up a little bit over there. Make some more room. Come on, guys. You can do it. We've got a little room on the sides, a little room over here, over by Pastor Ethan. Man, am I glad to see you tonight. How are you? Good. Merry Christmas. So, you know, on Sunday mornings during the children's message, I've been showing you my Christmas tie and my Christmas socks. And I wanted to show you today because they're two of my favorites. So, here is my Christmas tie. Can you see who it is? Yeah. Why do you think I wore this one tonight? Yeah, because it's Christmas Eve and Santa has a big job, doesn't he? But I also have some socks that somebody gave me. I've got to get where you can see them. So take a look at this sock. What's that got on it? Candy canes. But look at this sock. Those are weird socks, aren't they? So one sock has a bunch of candy canes, and the other sock makes my foot look like a candy cane. Isn't that crazy? All right. That's right. It's one candy cane and a thousand candy canes. Exactly. All right, so I told you I was going to read this book. You see this book? It's called Silent Night, Holy Night. When you hear Silent Night, Holy Night, what do you think of? 
Anybody think of the song, Silent Night? Do you like that song? I love that song. In fact, I was what? Would it be fun to sing that song at the end of the service? I think it would. Mr. Gabe, could we sing Silent Night, Holy Night at the end? We can? Oh, let's give Mr. Gabe a round of applause. He's awesome. All right. Okay, so it starts out on that first page. It says, Silent Night, Holy Night. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling claws. You know what swaddling claws are? They're just, they're just strips of cloth that they could wrap him so he's real tight. And they laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the, in the inn. Okay. Oh, look at that picture. That's what the, the artist thinks Bethlehem looks like. It says, long ago in the town of Bethlehem, a bright star appeared in the sky. It was the night Jesus was born. Oh, and then do you see down in the bottom the words to Silent Night, Holy Night? We're going to sing those. Yeah, beautiful. We're going to sing those words in just a few minutes. Okay. Oh, look at, look at the cow. Oh, and look at that donkey. That donkey looks like a nice, friendly doggy, doesn't it? And I see lambs, and I see a ram. Okay. Mary and Joseph and the stable animals surrounded baby Jesus. Mary wrapped her newborn son in warm cloths and nestled him on the hay in the manger. Can you see up on the screens in here? Isn't that a pretty picture? That's what we're celebrating, isn't it? That that baby was born for us. Jesus was sent by his heavenly Father to be with us. He came to teach us to love one another. That's important, isn't it? And he came to teach us to live in peace. In other words, to be kind to each other. Those are important parts of, of how we're supposed to live, aren't they? Next page. When Jesus was born, the angels told the shepherds in the field, a Savior is born. What's a Savior? Anybody know what a Savior is? What's a Savior? A person who comes to save people? Yeah, a person. Who, what else? What's a Savior? A God and a king? These are all good answers. Someone who helps us? Someone who sacrifices themselves for us? Yeah, one more. Jesus, yeah, Jesus is the Savior. And somebody else said Messiah, which is another word for, for how our Savior. It means Jesus, the anointed one. But here's the thing. Jesus is our Savior because he came not only to teach us to love one another and not only to teach us to live in peace with kindness toward each other, Jesus came to solve something. He came to take away sin. See, we can't get rid of our sin by ourselves. And that's why we go to Jesus. And Jesus takes it away because whenever we think about Jesus being born on Christmas, we have to remember that Jesus died and rose again on Good Friday and Easter. Well, let's go on. Let's go to the next page. Shepherds, angels, and wise men gathered around baby Jesus. Mary and Joseph smiled, and the animals smiled too. Do you think animals can smile? Yeah, I do too. Oh, and then now look at this very last page. I like this one. Because this looks more like us and our families, doesn't it? That's what it is. How many of you have a nativity scene in your home? Yeah, it's fun to look at, isn't it? It says, we are filled with joy because Jesus is born. Welcome, baby Jesus. Merry Christmas. And they're looking at this manger and nativity scene, and they're remembering that story that happened so long ago. You can do the same thing, can't you? When you see the nativity scene in your house or at your grandparents' house or somewhere else, you can remember that the whole Christmas celebration is about that baby that was born in a manger where the animals were fed. Well, I really like this book. In fact, I like it so much. I want to give you one of these books too, okay? So when, when you go back to your seats, now wait just a minute, but when you go back to your seats, I want you to go very slowly and very peacefully and kindly toward one another 
and we'll make sure that everybody gets one of these books, right? But right now, before you go, we've got to pray. Will you do an echo prayer with me? You ready? Dear God, thank you for your love and for sending Jesus, that tiny little baby, born in Bethlehem, who slept in an animal feeding trough, but grew up to be our Savior. We love him, and we are so glad that you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah, awesome. All right, so stand up, but very slowly. We want everyone to go slowly so no one falls on the stairs, right? Take your time and go down the stairs, and we'll get you one of those books on your way down. Moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and godparents and all the adults, at the back of the book there is a devotion and the, the Christmas story that you can have to read with the kids later on today. I also want to point you to our website because we have an online devotional service. It's about 21 minutes long, and it would be a great devotion for you to share either tonight, maybe before you open presents, or tomorrow morning before a Christmas meal, or whenever you choose to do it, but it would be a great service to share as a family. It's brief, but it'll get our hearts and our minds focused on the message of Christmas. One more thing before we have our blessing. As you're headed out, we've got milk and cookies, the perfect Christmas Eve refreshment, right? Milk and cookies out in the courtyard. We invite you to head on out and uh, enjoy those. Maybe take a picture or two around the Christmas tree. Just got a few more little ones to make their way back. Thank you, ushers, for your help. We have everybody safely back to where they need to be? I think so. Okay, receive this word of blessing. Loved ones, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. And as you leave this place and head to your Christmas celebrations, shine like stars in the universe as you hold out this message of life and love in Christmas. Okay, Mr. Gabe, can we do Silent Night? Awesome. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon Virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, Thank
dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Merry Christmas, Concordia. Thanks for worshiping with us.